The shape of the t-distribution depends on something called degrees of freedom, which for a simpler case, like estimating a mean, is just n-1, where n is our sample size. And the reason it's n-1, rather than n, has to do with the fact that once you know the sample mean, and n-1 of the data points, the last data point is determined. So you have really got only n-1 independent pieces of information. When the degrees of freedom are small, like when you have a sample of only 5 or 6 observations, the t-distribution looks quite different from the normal distribution with much heavier tails. And as your sample size increases, and therefore your degrees of freedom increases as well, something really nice happens. The t-distribution starts looking more and more like the normal distribution, and this makes intuitive sense because with a larger sample, your estimate of the standard deviation becomes more accurate and that extra uncertainty we were worried about becomes less and less important.